Right, here we go again. Frankie Parsons here reporting for duty, bringing you the very best recommendations in PC games for the single player. And which top 20 are we going to look at today, Mr Parsons? Well, it's the rather peculiar genre of the auto chess slash auto battler. Let's open the curtain and see which game it is today, shall we? Raise up those spotlights for a better view. And it is indeed... Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Well, there's uh, no harsh tones here as you enjoy the art style and uh, crush your opponents. <laughs> anyway, to the checklist. Uh, we're going to start ticking off the genres which we've already done on this wonderful journey, which I'm sure you're enjoying with me. Uh, two from the top row here uh, from Tier 1. Uh, we'll take off two from the middle row. There they go, being dragged into the depths. And we've also done two from the middle row, which you see there being dragged into the depths. Uh, depths. Uh. So looking at the Auto Chess Battler, a few things to be said about this. Uh, quite an unusual genre. Number one, a lot of these uh, involve multiplayer action. And number two, a lot of these, are, uh, because it's quite a new genre, I've actually yet to purchase uh, a few of these games. Uh, okay, and before we dive straight in, just to let you know that an Auto Chess game or a Battler uh, involves uh, basically two kind of steps. One, you purchase minions or you purchase units. Which number two, which then you go to the second phase, which uh, you then watch them do battle against your opponents. And that is pretty much an, an auto chess or an auto battler. Anyway, let's dive in, shall we? Okay, we're going to place those medals down in the usual manner and bring in the four that didn't quite make the main grid. Bobbling and bounding in like bouncing balloons in the billowing breeze. <laughs> Uh, the first three are very uh, new to the new game, so I've not yet purchased those. Uh, this one is short for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, a game that sort of relies heavily on uh, the comical look of the of the ragdoll physics as these two armies kind of do battle against each other. Uh, in the bronze section, we have uh, a couple of very casual games here. A game that came out a long time ago, over ten years ago, I believe, and uh, this one is. Um, you know, it wasn't called an auto battler when this first came out, but it does rely on like a build phase and then a, kind of a, a attack phase. Kilter is a very, very new game, so uh, but looks like it's worth checking out. Now we move on to silver. Okay, we're still sticking very much to single player games. Um, I won't name all these, but these are, by the looks of it, pretty solid games. Now I've not played any of these games, but they do look pretty decent, so they're there for informational purposes. We're moving on to gold now as we move towards more free to play multiplayer games now. And another thing you'll notice as we move into gold and platinum is that the production values and the polish tends to be of a kind of a higher standard. Now, Legion TD2 is definitely a multiplayer game. Chess Royale is something you'll get on Ubisoft, and that's a 100-person uh, battle royale affair. Minion Masters, I think you can play that on single player, but I think it's quite, again, geared more towards multiplayer. And actually, Tavern of Gods is an indie-developed game, which is definitely exclusively single player. And finally, as we get to the platinum rated games, these are the market leaders. If you type these in Google or Auto Battlers, you will get these four. They're generally held to be the ones to get. It's Auto Chess that you can get on the Epic Games Store. Uh, Dota Underlords is Valve's very own game you get on Steam. Hearthstone Battlegrounds we'll get to in a second. And Team Fight Tactics, which kind of wanted me to install League of Legends, so I kind of avoided that for now. But those are the four. Only one, by the way, that's Dota Underlords uh, you can get on Steam. Right, let's check out Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Okay, here we go. First things first, you will need to download and install the uh, Blizzard launcher. And whatever you say about Blizzard and their connection with China, they do produce some fantastic games. You've got Diablo 3, probably the best isometric action RPG you can get. You've got StarCraft 2, the second best RTS, after Age of Empires, of course. And you've got the greatest game of all time, World of Warcraft. Uh, so they, uh, for me, they are, uh, you know, do great games. Now here we get the uh, the page, uh, the opening page when you first start the game. Uh, you don't want to go to play because that will get you the collectible card game. Uh, Solo Adventures, of course, is single player. Tavern Brawl is a challenge, and then you get the modes. Now this is where you'll find um, Battlegrounds. So we'll click upon it, and you've got some other modes here. Again, you've got to go straight to this one. Okay, the game is free to play, but expansions do come out every four months, and if you so wish, you can buy perks at the beginning of each expansion, which costs you about £16 in UK money. You can, however, wait two months and buy it at half price, and then you can wait another month and buy it for just £4. It's up to you. But what you do get with perks is you get to discover four heroes rather than two, and you also get a nice amount of stats you can feast your eyes on uh, as you are playing. Now, here are the stats here. Again, I do have the perks. I did buy it um, in the last month. So um, you have all this information, which is really pretty meaningless, although I have played it rather a lot. The most important, I find the most useful, is to find out your top five heroes by games played and your top five heroes by wins. So probably should not play as much with this guy and probably should play a bit more with this guy. 
And just to say, capturing this footage has taken uh, rather a few takes, so you will notice these numbers may have changed in the last few seconds, uh, but I think it's just a case of uh, jumping in with a bish, bash, bosh. So yeah, I have decided to do this commentary in real time, so uh, prepare yourselves. Uh, this is the matchmaking system here. I find this to be very quick and very efficient. Uh, it takes about uh, 10 to 20 seconds normally. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. They do have to find eight players for you, so uh, that's how it works. It's an eight-player uh, competition. It's a round-robin affair, and uh, off we go. Uh, I'll need to choose a hero here, so uh, you'll be given four heroes. I'll have to choose the, uh, the best one. They're actually no good here. These are not very good heroes. So... The best one for me is going to be this guy here um, that um, gives uh, minions reborn. Now everyone else of course is doing this at the same time. I've got four heroes to choose from. If you don't get the perks you only get two heroes. So we'll confirm him. Um, I will be editing this video as well so there will be uh, certain bits that kind of fade out and fade in. Just to keep it succinct and concise. Now uh, this is a card playing. Well this is this is done with cards. You don't get un units kind of running around a board or anything like that. Uh, the cards kind of uh, face each other and then they sort of bump into each other. Now this is my hero here. He's got 40 hit points. That's all they all have. It, unless you play as someone called Patchwork who's not there. This is my hero power. I give a friendly minion reborn for the next combat only. And if you're not sure what these key words mean, those letters in bold there, those words in bold, you look across and you can see there in the grey box next to it. I'm going to pick this guy here, the Cumunculus, and place him on the battleground. Now if you hover over this one, the keyword says that uh, this, his battle cry is that it's going to deal my hero two damage, uh, which it did so, of Don't course, and there it is. Now uh, now you get the, the attacking round, so that's the purchase round, where you purchase your minions, and now I'm facing the my first opponent, who's decided to choose an elemental. So I won that battle. Uh, the reason I won that battle is because you get power... Uh, okay, let's just show that animation. Now for this particular uh, purchase phase I'm going to get the what's called a token unit so I'll purchase him he costs three gold here's your gold at the bottom here and place him here now once I place him if you read the keywords his battle cry is that he's going to summon a 1-1 one -one murloc so when I place him next to my humunculus there he is there he pops now I can switch things around no I can't switch things around uh, obviously I'm going to give him reborn this time I don't think I gave him reborn last time I forgot because I don't normally play this hero I think you can no. win this thing Okay, here we go. Uh, and again, the battle phase. Battle phase is uh, one person's uh, leftmost minion attacks, and then the next opponent's left minion attacks, and so on and so forth. Uh, let's uh, level up. You should level up pretty swiftly. And this is what's called a token unit. This spews forth from another minion. So this one I can sell. And bring in, let's bring in this guy, place him, and then remember to use my hero power, which doesn't cost any gold. Some of them do cost gold. And uh, boost my humunculus, who when he dies, will uh, be reborn. So, he attacks, I attack, he attacks, I attack. Okay, here we go, and nice another phase. I've got six gold here. Minions cost three gold, so what I'm going to do here is purchase the... Let's grab the... Uh, let's just grab the dragon here. And the cup. Let's place the dragon first. That dragon just has taunt. And the cup, again, has a battle cry. Gives three random friendly minions of different minion types, plus one, plus one. So when I place this here, there you can see that uh, it gave these three minions because they're all different. Uh, let's quickly do that before we forget. Watch this unfold. Okay, not doing too badly. Now, of course, other heroes have different types of uh, hero powers. Uh, they sort of range from uh, favouring death rattles to giving divine shields to buffing certain tribes. I'll explain about tribes in a minute. And also to give any sort of buffs like a 1 plus 1 or 2 plus 2 to certain to certain tribes. Let's, uh, now again, this is, uh, I have to think of my feet fairly fast here. So I'm going to grab this demon. I'm going to grab this demon. And for this demon, he has a battle cry of giving a friendly demon 
plus two, plus two. So what I'll do is I'll place him here. Another satisfied boost customer. the Monkula, so he gets two plus two. Place this one. Another satisfied. And give him another two plus two, and then drag the hero power to the Humunculus. He's like, you do tend to get two or three main, your main big sort of behemoths, your tanks that kind of have a lot of uh, stats. On the left here is your power, that's your attack. That's how much you attack for. And on your right here, that is your health. Um, perhaps I should nick nab this one to be fair so what you can do is freeze now to freeze it these will now be held by Bob the the, um, the innkeeper here he will now uh, keep those Everyone's gunning for you watch out he will now keep those minions safe for me so in the next round I'll be able to use those they won't be refreshed so here we go again the attack base Okay, there it is. Another win. Not doing too badly, considering. Ah, right, here you get triples. So I'm going to take this one, buy him for three gold, and now he merges with the other two, and he becomes now a, um, a triple. So I can place him, and if you look at his uh, text box now, you can see that it gives plus four, plus four, so I can place him. Again, I'm going to give it to the homunculus to give him a little bit of a boost and once you triple you activate the triple you get a another card here to discover another minion we'll place that over here and the best thing I think here is I'm gonna actually take the, the dragon I don't think that's very optimal at all uh, is there another dragon there, there. I still have uh, refreshes I can do let's take the cups let's take the... right well it's a bit weird you don't normally triple up on cups but uh, Let's level up first, then we'll grab the cups, triple them up, don't normally do, and now I can do a 2 plus 2 to 3 different types of minion. Um, I'm going to do that while I still remember. Let's place the cups over here, uh, I've got to make sure it's right, because often, often you'll place these and then realise you made a mistake, so I've got to be sure there. What should I take here? Um, these don't really help me very much, I think I'm going to keep, keep with the dragon, Let's go with the dragon. So we get with the weakest link now. You've got to go with the strong, bring in the strong cards and get rid of the weakest link. If you hover over them, it tells you which tavern level they're from. And these, a lot of these are level ones, which is not good. The top left-hand corner there, you'll see that there's um, a gold star with a pink background. And that gives you the tavern tier. So every time you'll have noticed, I've upgrade, upgraded the tavern, and each time you do so, you get more powerful units. And uh, at the moment, I need to really. Uh, up my game so let's get rid of that one place the dragon I do have a chance to uh, explore these a little all right let's uh, okay time constraints there I had to think fast so I'm refreshing it because I see a dragon there that I can grab once you build up your tavern tier you can uh, get a better unit so uh, hopefully I can get units that will boost these up these dragons Right, other things to mention, I mentioned tribes earlier, you get seven different tribes, if you hover over this pack of cards here, it tells you the tribes that are in the games, these are like species, uh, as you can see I'm doing dragons, I, I like, I usually play elementals and mechs, they tend to be the strongest and give me the uh, the best uh, the best um, results really, so I'll grab this dragon, buy him, okay the other thing is you can hover over your opponents, now these opponents over here in rank order, if you hover over them, you'll see that um, he's at tavern four, he's tripled up once, the flame means he's won twice, and the sword, if it leans to the right, it means he won. If it, if it leans to the left, it means he lost. So he won his last two games, and he's also um, building in mechs. He's, he's got a mech build going on. And you can also see his hero power. So if you hover over these here, you can see their different hero powers. Here you can see his hero power and how he got on, etc. So let's see what we can do here. I like the taunt build, so I'm going to grab this one. This will help those with uh, the shield. So let's get rid of another weak link. In fact, what's he doing? Uh, this is difficult, actually, to decide what to do. He's just a battle cry, so we'll get rid of him. Place him at the end. Refresh. Not very successful. Not very successful. Give him a reborn. Grab this for a triple chances. If I get another one, I can triple up. Do another refresh. Again, triple chance with this one. And we wait. Here we go, we got another triple, so we 
bring that down here. They join together. Like where you're going with this. We can place that shortly. Just make sure we do things right. Let's boost him. Let's refresh. Bring in the cups. It's not the strongest, but it'll boost fight, things. Huh? Sell that. Refresh. Okay, we got another uh, triple up here. That's looking quite good. So let's place that. I mean, if I had more wits about me, I could probably make a little bit more of this. Let's bring in the jug. Bring in the jug to boost. Sell that. Bring that one at the end there. Uh, normally, I like to have more 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 taunts here to so that this his uh, text, as you see, his ability uh, is a bit more has a bit more use. So, see what we got here. Now I like this one, so I'm going to get rid of this one now. He's become weak. So we get rid of him and we place him at the end. Embrace so what will happen with rage. this one is that when the taunts are attacked, he gets one one permanently. So that's quite useful. This one is now becoming a bit redundant, so we're going to get rid of him shortly. I guess we're not doing too badly here, considering, as I said before. Right, we're still in the game, we're still fighting. Nine damage done there. Still holding on. See if we get a top four put place. If you get top four, that counts as a win. So that's not bad, let's level up. That should be done ages ago. Boost him. Get some more minions. Better minions, they're no good. They won't help. Right, this is a taunt. Now this is useful now if you're going to do a taunt build. So if I buy him, I'll need to get rid of useless one. Maybe we'll get rid of... We'll get rid of him. And now we can bring our taunt in. Taunt these two... Not. Wait a second. Yeah, okay, we'll taunt, well, we'll just taunt the one. And now this, the reason I did that is because these two will now, uh, their um, information here, that will work better in their favour now that I've taunted an extra one. So we'll bring him in and place him at the end. So he'll start clocking up uh, stats as these get attacked. I think you can win this thing. Well, that was quite a satisfying battle. I've managed to uh, win that one. And we're staying in the competition. Uh, we've managed to get a top four place. So hurrah, hooray, hurroo, hurrah. Your minions really pulled their weight. Um, again, we're going to look for triples. We'll pick that one up. We'll give him the re boost. We will uh, refresh the tavern. And we will refresh it again. We can grab another triple. We're doing really well with the triples today. So they merge together, oh, oh, up in we the can world. place that one, boost this one, okay, we get our uh, minions here, no, these are no good really, I'm not really into demons, so, but that one might be okay later. So there you go, I thought I'd just show you the end of the match, the end of the competition for me, I ended up in third place. You get a rating according to how well you did, and, uh, and that's it. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it, I will see you in the next one.